Luke will be commentating blindfolded just as these fighters are fighting semi-blindfolded. Wow. We have Petzilla and Godzilla. Blob Tang trying to left right there, but he has no clue just where hit. Body Positive is. Another reaching left. He great, kicked Ted. Great kick by both fighters, and that's a big right, left, right. <laughs> I felt some vibrations. This has to be kind of a decent fight at least. Body Positive taking some shots. Blobzilla now finding the range, Ted. Love that knee. Could you imagine the technique from a guy that size? <laughs> Luke, what are you feeling? Uh, confused. But my other senses are heightening. I like, who smells like that? I just keep going, guys. Keep going. I need to, I need to hear to know what's going on. Mechanical failure right there from Body Positive. But, I mean, talk about Blob Tang's impressive showing here early in round one, Ted. I mean, the technique is, I didn't know he had this many weapons in his bag. A guy it's a who big bag. he doesn't need eyes. He's got the legs. There we go, kick for kick. Who's kicking who? What's happening? <laughs> Blob went up top, just grazed Petzilla. I'll say this: I'm shocked that his physique. He is performing these maneuvers. Big knee by body, body positive though in the middle. I feel like the clinch is his wheelhouse, Luke. Uh, are we talking about Petzilla again? I cannot no, see the blob. any. We're talking about the blobs. Oh. He just said blob. Bro. Boob, boob cow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take your word for it. Sounds like he's doing <laughs> fucking great. Walking him down. He's controlling center stage right now. Got him in the corner. Can he work, Ben? I like the movement from Body Positive, but you can see Blob Tang is finding him at every single opening. Excellent kicks from both, but Positive circles out, Ted. Petzilla has the experience, but did not show it in round one, man. Not at all. Where's not at all. Luke, your takeaways. Where's my beer? Can there someone put it? Can someone put it in my hand? <laughs> yeah. Where, yeah. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, where did it go? It's, uh, it's between my legs, Ben. You're gonna have to there it is. There it is. Ted's got it. There you go. okay. What was a really great pressuring round from Blob Tang? Absolutely. I loved how he found Body Positive, walked him down, but Body Positive using the rings as eyes. Ted, I'm impressed by both guys. I am as well. I really think Blob Tang took that, and I think he's going to use what he has gained that in round one, in round two, I think he's gonna to continue to push forward. I think he's gonna to continue to keep that center and move Petzilla into the corner and go to work. You know, Luke, when we think about some big uh, changes both guys can make ahead of round two, where's your head at? Yeah, I mean, I believe you're calling Petzilla body positive. Am I correct in that? Yeah. Okay. Petzilla, it sounds like he's gonna to have to make some adjustments because the thuds, I can hear you guys usually are saying Blobzilla's name, so that would lead me to believe that's probably a 10-9 round Blobzilla, but again, I'm blindfolded. How the fuck would I know? Which is so shocking, though. I thought Petzilla was gonna come here and just go to work, and he did not. Let's see, maybe he was toying with him. Maybe he was allowing him to gain some confidence, and maybe we're gonna see Petzilla now go to work, but I think he needs to take round two, Ben. I will say this, Petzilla, body positive, is 42 years old. That's 18 years older than Blob Tang. The fact he's here at all is really impressive to me. A lot of tread on those tires, if you will. <laughs> your, your take, Luke? <laughs> uh, here we go, round two, I guess. Uh, back to the action. Uh, who's doing what? I don't Petzilla know. With, Petzilla with a cheap kick right off the bat, but then gets backed. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Again, the range finding from both guys, like you're saying, Ted, they're not playing around here. Now we're starting to see some kicks down low. Blobzilla going up top to the penthouse with a kick and then a right left. Good boxing right here from Blob Tang, but why Petzilla would, doing okay. Why would Petzilla want to get into the clinch with someone that blobby? Luke? <laughs> I, 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 can he actually clinch someone that enormous? Where are they? It's What's tough. Happening? It's quiet in here. It's they like, are right in front of him. It weird all of a sudden. It might work to his advantage. A guy that size, when you're in on him deep, it's going to take him a while to move around and adjust. There might be some you opportunities know, for Petzilla. Bam. It's jokes. <laughs> when I see a guy that's big, I like to go in deep as well. So maybe that's what Petzilla wants to do. Again, those kicks are thunderous. Just tree trunks. And there are the knees on the inside. Those score high in the eyes of the judges, don't they? When you get those slap knees in, in that clinch. It's a lot of criteria. Blob Tang bringing down banana trees with the downstairs. Also bringing down his shorts as well. Shorts are falling. Based on what you guys are saying, I think I'm leaning Blob Tang again in this round. But again, for the audience at home, I'm blind. So. Love that right, followed by a left. He's really not joking around. He's working that jab. I'm so impressed by the boxing of Blob Tang. Blindfolded, he is finding the range, touching with the left, and then thundering in with the right, Ted.
Do you remember when in in the Kumite where he got thrown the salt and the sand in his eyes and he had this inner demon? I think that's what Blob Tang is doing. Luke? Uh, I think Petzl is preoccupied because he probably has to like break down the ring later, drive a bunch of people home. He like wears a lot of hats at his company and shit. So you never, you honestly never get like 110 percent out of Petzl. He's usually preoccupied. L- little look behind the probably, curtain. We should give him a raise, you know, and just let him fight. For once, once again, breaking the fourth wall. Little look behind the curtain of what Petzl does I, for this company. After the first fight, I think we can be real with the crowd, you know. Like this is a great matchup. It sounds like from what you got. Uh, ben, where are you? Where are you? really picking up. Ben, where are you putting this fight right now? Who's up? I think Blob Tang is up two rounds to nil. I mean, he's landing much more significant strikes. The pressure is there. Guys, I think in this third and final round, Petzilla body positive needs a stoppage, Luke. I agree. I agree. I agree. Totally. I don't know about big guys, but I know when I'm with big girls, I know how to handle that. And this is what Petzilla needs to do. Sweet talk. He needs a sweet talk. He needs the caress. And I like the teep. All jokes aside, the teep straight down the center to that big bread basket could really do some damage this round. Yeah, it's got to be hard to miss that gut, even if you're blindfolded like I am. <laughs> Luke making a very fair point. You can see slow start, but Blob Tang moving ever so slightly into the center. Good luck, good left right great. there from Petzilla. But also great defense from someone wearing a Lucha Libre mask. And there are those rights up to the penthouse. He goes head hunting, and it pays off. How's Oran doing? Oh! How's, oh. how's referee Oran doing? He's there's a lot of meat in the ring, and uh, I'm not really even noticing a little guy like that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of beef in there. A mechanical failure. Pedzilla's mask has come off, but now he can sort of get some eyes. Control. He gets a moment of sight, Ted. He may use this to his advantage, but it doesn't look like he has it. Again, great defense from Blobzilla. Love the left now. We saw the right earlier in round two. There comes the left. Oh, oh thunderous. <laughs> thunderous to the belly. I felt that. It's just all fundamentals from Blob Tang. He is really just using the day one stuff. And uh, despite the sight, he is just pushing through Petzilla. When you have technique and power, why do you need cardio? And he's putting it on display right now. Luke? You need it because you want to live for a while. You know, you don't want to die when you're 32 or whatever. So. Now, his best weapon is his kick. His most deadly weapon is type 2 diabetes. Uh, third best weapon, the right hand. Petzilla's best weapon is he has no teeth. Yep. So you really can't frustrate the man by punching him in the mouth. Absolutely. Beautiful kind slap. Of animal. Slap knees again, just laying that weight on him as yes, Blobzilla will do. Is that a trash can? Uh, yeah, it's almost like the Oakland A's. Bam. Houston Astros, I believe it was. Idiot. Fuck baseball. Idiot. Oh. Love the rights. Yeah, round three. Yeah. They oh, end it swinging, time. Ted. What a beautiful performance by two blind athletes. Felt like Blob Tang did a bit better in every round, but Petzilla showed up the best he could. He did the best he could. I actually might think that he didn't have enough sight, and I don't want to blame the, the what, what that is, right? I mean, you, you enter into it, that's how it goes, but Blobzilla, way to go. Luke? Uh, yeah, is, is that third and final, or we got more rounds to go? I don't, have, I can't see my sheet. Third and final. Because again, I'm um, blindfolded. Third and final. Are we going to the judges? We going to the judges? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen. Listen. It's good three rounds. The judges have it all scored up. We're going with a magical overtime round. Pulling it out of my ass right now. They call it the miracle round. You want to know why? No, 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 no. I'm making this miracle happen. You can see. You can see now. Do you see what I did there? Miracles. They happen every day. You can now see. You can now see. Let's do this round. Wow. Both of them are going so, at it. Masks are off. What happens is, if you remember off. when you were in second grade and one Thank team was winning by so much, and the teacher was like, well, this next question is a gazillion points. <laughs> That's what's happening here. This next round is a gazillion points. Petzilla getting the opportunity of a lifetime and color commentator Lou now has his sight. Oh, oh, no, these men are gigantic. This is unbelievable. It's good to see him go. And I wonder if they have three more minutes in them, but we're going to find out right now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see the, the technique. Let's see the stamina right now because this has gone oh. to sudden victory. Oy. 18 years elder is Petzilla body positive. Now he can leverage that wisdom and experience and technique in the ring, but Blob Tang looking powerful, Ted. He loves the yeah, up top. Working the alpha, old age Whoa. alpha. Blob Tang saying, let's go. Beautiful combo there from Blob Tang. Petzilla walking him down. Comfort from both guys, Luke. Yeah, I mean, Pet's looking for another notch in his belt, and this would be a fucking huge one here against Blobzilla. 
When Blobzilla turns oh, that hip, it's boy. almost like an eclipse. Oi! <laughs> He's Look at that right there. Out the oh, sun, it's baby. a new season every time he turns oh. his head. Nice right hand from Petzilla. You know, I love Blog Tang's um, confidence here and the gamesmanship, but Petzilla is landing a lot. He knows he has to take this, the, the one millionth point round. You know what I mean? He knows he needs this now. But is it enough? So far, I don't think so, guys. But I'd imagine being able to see now has improved his accuracy, like, drastically. So, uh, it's anybody's game here. Can we talk about the stamina of Blobzilla, please? How is he still standing at what? I don't know, 170 kgs? I don't know what that translates to in pounds. I think 300, but he's looking all right. I mean, winging those kicks, still putting on the pressure, but the gamesmanship. Yeah! Oh, oh. oh. Hell, wow. a hell of an effort from both gentlemen based on what I heard and what I saw in these final three minutes. Amazing. Overall great yeah! fight, guys. Overall great yeah! fight. Amazing. Come on. This, uh, this event was sponsored by Jungle Farms and Phuket High, best dispensaries on the planet. You guys, that, my friend, is a free eighth. That's what we do here. Ladies and gentlemen, a mother loving draw. What every fight fan wants. What every fight fan wants, a draw.